Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. It's launch day, and on your screen is a live look at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport on Wallops Island in Virginia. Northrop Grumman's Antares rocket is getting ready for liftoff from launch pad 0A to kick off a cargo resupply mission carried out by Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft. Yesterday, during the final minutes of the countdown, a fire alarm sounded at the Northrop Grumman Cygnus Control Center in Dulles, Virginia, causing the team to have to evacuate the building. The team was responsible for monitoring Cygnus during launch and ultimately taking control of the spacecraft. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition. And we have liftoff of the Antares NG-18 launch vehicle from Wild's flight facility. T minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition. And we have liftoff of the Antares NG-18 launch vehicle from Wild's flight facility. We have liftoff of Northrop Grumman's 18th Commercial Resupply Services mission. The SS Sally Ride has begun its journey to the International Space Station. The first stage is performing norm nominally so far. One minute into the flight, no issues are being tracked with the Antares rocket. We are passing through Max Q. The vehicle remains nominal. Antares is passing through Max Q, the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Power remains nominal. Passing through 50,000 feet. I got nothing. Uh, I lost it. It's going. Attitude remains nominal. Passing through 5,000 feet per second. Core pressurization valves continue to function as expected. Engines remain nominal, 100% thrust. Approximately 100 seconds to Miko. Passing through 100,000 feet. Power remains now at the two minute mark, everything is going as planned. You're hearing the Wallops Range Control Center reporting a good flight of the Antares rocket. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. Nominal attitude. Core pressurization valves continue to function nominally. We have begun slow throttle down. Throttle down is the precursor to main engine cutoff. MIGO occurs at the 3 minute 18 second mark of the flight, followed right after by first stage separation. Coming up at the three minute mark, just seconds away from main engine cutoff. And main engine cutoff. Stage one separation. First stage separation confirmed from Wallops' range control center just as planned about six seconds after main engine cutoff. Less than 20 seconds to go until fairing separation to unveil the Cygnus cargo spacecraft. Good engine performance on stage one. Stage, 
stage to ignition in approximately 10 seconds. We have fairing separation. Fairing separation is confirmed. Cygnus is now outside of its protective shell and is continuing to climb into its preliminary orbit. And we have stage two ignition. And with stage two ignition, the second stage engine will burn for about two minutes, 46 seconds. We have stage two burnout. Beginning reorientation for payload separation. And we have payload separation of the Cygnus spacecraft. Spacecraft separation is confirmed. Antares launched at 4.32.42 a.m. Central Time, 5.32 a.m. Eastern at the end half of the launch window. At the time of launch, the International Space Station was flying over the Indian Ocean southwest of Australia.